Hello students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Professor Ipshita Bansal from BPS Women's University, Sonipat, Haryana. Today, we will be discussing about the module Strategic Recruitment of the paper Strategic Human Resource Management. After completing this module, the students will be able to understand the significance of strategic recruitment, the spillover effects in recruitment, effectiveness of recruiters, various strategies to attract applicants and best recruitment practices across the industries. Strategic recruitment is the method of hiring personnel keeping in mind sustainable specifically aimed missions that will be the backbone of the establishment's structure and aggregated success. This involves the movement of people into, through and out of the organization. Strategic recruitment is an integral part of strategic staffing. There are significant differences between traditional practices of staffing and strategic staffing. Orthodox recruitment is loosely related to planning. This is more volatile and triggered by an impulse that is not featured by a perpetual effort to improvise and the betterment of the existing systems. Strategic recruitment systems incorporate following characteristics. Long haul strategizing syncing with the organization's corporate planning, syncing with all the avenues of HR, syncing with the workforce, appropriate applicant evaluation on aspects pertaining to job success and prolonged potential, the assessment of hiring results as pitted against predefined missions. Let's now talk about staffing goals. It includes processes, goals and outcome goals. It should be aligned with improving the strategic performance of the staffing procedures. The main hiring mission is to sync the abilities, attributes, ethos and features of the applicants and the needs of the establishments and concurrent tasks. Strategic staffing goes even further and enables the organization to better execute its business strategy and attain its business goals. Staffing goals should be consistent with the goals and needs of all the stakeholders in the staffing process, including applicants and hiring managers. Process goals. During the hiring process, what needs to be done? Attracting sufficient number of appropriately qualified applicants, complying with the law and organizational policies, fulfilling any affirmative action obligations, meeting hiring timeline goals, hiring successful employees, hiring individuals who will be eventually promoted. Outcome goals that is what has to be done after hiring. Reducing turnover rates among high performers, hiring individuals for whom the other HR functions will have the desired impact, meeting stakeholder needs, maximizing the financial return on the firm's staffing investment, enhancing employee diversity, enabling organization flexibility, and enhancing business strategy execution. So what are the seven components of strategic staffing? These are workforce planning, sourcing, hiring, choosing, procuring, unfolding and sustaining the assets. Workforce planning employs the technique of forecasting and establishments forthcoming hiring requirements in view of the presence of the present staff and accomplishing the establishment's corporate planning. 
generally it includes the duo that is the recruiting manager and a staffing specialist it could be short term stressing on pronto recruiting requirements it could be long term and stress on the futuristic requirements of the establishment workforce planning is more effective when it takes into consideration both the firm's short term and long term needs what is sourcing sourcing is identifying skilled labor most apt for recruiting what is recruiting it covers the activities of establishment functions and related decisions that influence the quantity or genres of candidates enthusiastic to apply for and accept job offers sourcing identifies people who would be good recruits recruiting activities entices them to apply to the organization and accept job offers if extended here we see a diagrammatic representation of strategic staffing which shows a flow chart of the staffing process on the left hand side we see the column applicant human resource department and hiring manager so row following the applicant it states what the applicant does during the entire process secondly what the human resource department do during the entire process and third what does the hiring manager does during the hiring process so applicant during sources and recruiting applies for job by responding to filter questions and submitting resume at the time of selecting take tests and is interviewed at the time of onboarding background check and drug testing is done human resource department at the time of sourcing and recruiting post positions and sources recruits and conducts job analysis if needed hr department at the time of selecting identifies minimally qualified candidates and performs preliminary candidate assessment and also identifies finalists at the time of onboarding it gives an offer for the job and inducts the personnel for socialization process the hiring manager at the time of sourcing and recruiting determines need for position and secures job requisition and later at the time of selecting he interviews finalists and finally at the time of onboarding contingent job offer is made so we see from this diagram strategic staffing is quite a complex process which needs to be carefully handled selecting and acquiring talent selecting is evaluating the applicants for the profile and narrowing down on the most qualified applicant it operates in a strong legal context acquiring involves putting together job offers that appeal to chosen candidates and pursue them to join negotiations usually result in employment contracts deploying and socializing deploying is allocating the assets to the related profiles and tasks in the firm which leads to succession planning and career development enhancing deployment options socializing is the process of familiarizing newly hired and promoted employees with their job work group and organization as a whole retaining talent tools for retaining the talent in the organization are succession management and career development retaining talent is very important task because turnover of high performers can be expensive 
and turnover of low performers can be beneficial. Matchmaking process. Hiring coupled with choosing is an integrated process and a two-way road where both the hiring manager and potential candidates put their best foot forward and try to gauge the potential fit. Applicants and organizations choose each other. Recruitment continues until the person is no longer a viable job candidate or until a job offer is expected, accepted and the person reports for work. So, we can say that strategic recruitment includes the tasks that transform the leads generated in the process of calling of applicants, creating engrossment in the firm and job profile and inducing the applicants to accept extended job offers. Recruiters, hiring managers or employees can do it. A significant aim is to provide each candidate with a sense of optimism regarding the firm and its functionalities. Both the establishments and individuals perception is important as proficient hiring involves taking into notice the candidates vision and requirements. There should be a sense of fairness among applicants to make an effective strategic recruitment. Let's now understand the concept of distributive fairness. Applicants should have a sense of perceived fairness in the outcome. If someone gets the job or promotion, he or she tends to find this outcome fair. If someone does not get the job or promotion, he or she tends to find this outcome less fair. Hence, organizations need to clearly quantify different criteria to select a candidate. The measurement of various competencies required for a particular job in terms of knowledge, skills and abilities should be properly done and disclosed to the applicant. Let's now understand procedural fairness. Procedural fairness under this a person should have faith in the guidelines and regulations that led to the recruitment and consequent promotions were unbiased and just. An applicant should feel that he or she has been provided enough opportunity to showcase his or her talent and the process has been fair to judge the test. Also, system needs to give due regard to the candidate's privacy, desist any prolonging of decisions, utilize work pertaining evaluations, and provide a platform to function. Let's now understand interactional fairness. This is the justness of the intimate treatment and the knowledge acquired during the interview. The hiring manager and staff need to exhibit honesty, respect, warmth and effectiveness of information during the interactions. Spillover effects refer to the unprecedented and collateral effects of an action. Many of the applicants fail to get the job or the expected promotion and get a feeling that the hiring process was biased or the interviewers were incompetent or they were made to feel out of place. In such a scenario, they will carry a bad image of the organization and will not be interested to apply again in future. Also, they will share that experience with their friends and propagate that the level of awe they had for the establishment was based on false perceptions. To reduce this negative spillover effect, many organizations try to behave in a professional way irrespective of their final decisions. If they were greeted by name, given a quick tour of the facility, treated fairly and respectfully, interviewed on time by prepared and enthusiastic employees 
and heard from the company when it is said it would follow up, the applicant will carry a positive image of the organization. They will spread over a positive word of mouth to their friends and relatives. Also, they will consider this organization to apply again in future. Some establishments make it seem that candidates should consider themselves lucky even to be called for an interview and if not hired, end the relation in an abrupt way. So, recruitment does not end by choosing a candidate and giving the offer letter until either the organization or the candidate removes the person or the organization from further consideration or the individual is hired and reports for work it is the job of recruiting to keep him interested in pursuing the opportunity with the organization recruiters should help candidates continually feel excited about the opportunity and ultimately be willing to accept a reasonable job offer. The effects of an organization's actions and reputation on applicant attraction begin before an organization ever advertises an open position and continue after the position is filled. Let's now understand the principles of recruiting. The first principle is a well-defined strategy. The basis of any hiring process is a crystal clear laid out and structured planning that demonstrates the mission statement of the brand, addressed audience, central sources and most effective closing approaches, the who, what, when and how. Loosely structured policies or lapse in interaction of the same leads to the wastage of resources and non-beneficial recruiting. Also, the most successful strategies have the ability of shifting as the economy and the requirements for aspirants differ. Another principle of recruiting is adopting pipeline approach. This is highly proficient way of hiring is forming a stable flow of candidate. To fulfill the requirements of forming a persistent talent pipeline, we should use pre-need method that involves labor force strategizing, branding, continuous sourcing and onboarding. Being competitive. As competitors are agile to ape the most effective ways of hiring a prolonged persistent evaluation, yours versus theirs is important. As the cream is always wanted, if there isn't a fight for an aspirant, then most assuredly the cream isn't in your pool. Employment Branding This is the tried and trusted foolproof technique in long haul hiring, helping the firm to put forth a utopic overview of the job profiles and working conditions. Seeing this, applicants expect a vertical growth and several incentives luring them into applying to the firm. Next principle is Go Global. The profiles that need top of the notch experts have to expand their recruiting horizons globally. The reason being that the probability of finding such talent locally is minimal. Next is target employed non-lookers. Excellent hiring techniques are framed to hire already employed best of the lot. This implies that the company should have a potential and convincing skills to lure the candidates from the competitors to come forth and join their team. It is a known fact that in most companies Hiring is done in a way to lure active candidates. Speed is important. Being agile and deft in decision making is the need of the R to recruit a premium candidate if he decides to make a job switch. 
the cream must be recruited using their decision timetable. Research shows that premium candidates are off the market in less than half of the normal corporate time to fill. Next is sourcing is critical. If the resources who headhunt the cream aren't utilized, chances are that the firm won't get a quality asset. After employment branding, effective sourcing is the most critical element of the recruiting process. Some of the not so popular techniques of hiring are those done at professional events and contests. Screening, legitimacy and background check of the applicants should be done before any pertinent decision making. Database decisions are also important. Based decisions of which individuals to hire on sources, screening tools and on facts and data, not emotion or even common practices. Making decisions based on objective data helps eliminate biases and causes the recruiting process to produce more consistent, reliable and high quality results. It is also true that in a fast changing world, what works changes quickly, so recruiting practices become obsolete quickly. Build a recruiting culture. The most proficient technique spanning the entire organization is to create a culture of recruiting where every manager and employee is a recruiter. Because of their continuous contact and interaction with outside talent, everyone must play an important supplemental role in identifying talent and in spreading the employment brand. The most effective recruiting strategies convince employees to be 24-7 talent scouts, making every employee a recruiter. Another principle is a candidate centric approach. This approach stresses on the applicants requirements, their job selection criteria and the candidates experience. A significant part of recruiting is selling the candidate on applying for and accepting the job. At least in part Recruiting must follow the customer relationship management and the sales and marketing models. Often the number one reason why candidates reject job offers is the way they were treated during the hiring process. It is also important to note that candidates may be current or future customers, so treating them poorly can directly impact future revenue. Next is prioritize jobs and targets. The proficient hiring processes optimize and accelerate resource utilization by identifying and focusing on the positions with the highest business impact. That generally means revenue producing and revenue impact jobs as well as jobs in high margin and rapid growth business units. The process should also target high impact individuals known as top performers, innovators and game changers. Precise execution. In spite of the fact that business hiring designs the process, managers deliver and execute a significant part of that process. As a result, hiring managers must understand its elements and support its precise execution. Hiring managers must understand that they will suffer whenever a bad or but sincere hire is made. Therefore, recruiting must make a strong business case to individual hiring managers that convince them of the importance of executing the process precisely. The most effective way of influencing Hiring managers is by converting recruiting results into their dollar impact on that individual manager's revenue and profit. 
managing diversity, an emphatic recruiting method encompasses customization due to the range of diverse applicants from all over the globe. Diversity and inclusiveness are becoming not just legalities but important elements in forming global sales. Forming relationships. One of the most striking techniques of hiring is forming relationships with potential applicants in due course of time to enhance the degree of trust and loyalty. Sadly, Whatever package of incentives is made available to the cream, the potential top-notch candidates won't come on board till they attain a particular level of trust in the firm. As there are loopholes in every hiring process, having a detailed interview buys time in accessing the candidate thoroughly and prevents useless hiring. Next is leveraging technology. Recruiting and hiring should leverage latest technology. The web technology betters the weeding out of less potent candidates, speeds up the recruiting process, making it more efficient and gives the establishment a window to recruit on a worldwide basis. Remote work options. Giving applicants an option to remote work tremendously increases the candidate pool. Organizations that are equipped to handle staff that operates from remote locations possess a distinctive competitive advantage. They lure the cream who are not available in the particular vicinity or local market, but are willing to work from home or are not up to taking the hassle of commutation. Next is metrics and rewards impact recruiting. All the elements of hiring show an increased effective output if the hiring managers are compensated enough for their head hunting and their efforts are quantified and rewarded appropriately. By convincing senior management and HR to place metrics and rewards on key aspects of recruiting, one lays down the significance of the process. A recruiter should have some special characteristics to attract the right kind of applicant pool to apply for a given job. Individuals may make inferences about the attractiveness of a job or the probability of receiving a job offer based on recruiter characteristics. These inferences can influence the decisions to pursue the job. Although there is little evidence that recruiters' characteristics such as age, gender, race, rank or function are important, yet recruiter behavior towards applicants and their perceived knowledge of job and organization do influence applicants' attitude and behavior. Characteristics of Effective Recruiter Characteristics of effective recruiter are familiarity with the job and organization, good listening skills, good communication skills, good social skills, intelligence and self-confidence, extroversion, enthusiasm about the job and company, trustworthiness and credibility. Because people often have limited information about organizations and jobs in the absence of objective information they may rely on the recruiters traits and behaviors as signals of aspect of both the company and the job opportunity a ceo involved in recruiting may signal a jobs important a demographic minority Recruiter may signal the firm's demographic diversity. Recruiter behaviors affect applicant attraction indirectly through influencing applicant perceptions of job and organizational attributes. So students, let us summarize what we studied in this module. 
the purpose of recruitment is to generate and maintain the interest of desirable potential employees recruitment decisions should never be taken lightly in the organizations every organization has to understand that if they are looking forward to stability and effective outcomes the process steps should be clearly defined there are always anomalies that are present and can be amended as well treating potential applicants and employees as potential customers can enhance organizational hiring success as well as organizational performance thank you